Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be dealing with the question, how do I know which church is the right one? In 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, we read, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Religions and religious denominations, even in Christianity, all claim to be teaching people about God and how to live their lives in accordance with God's plans. But when we look out into the world, we see one denomination will teach one thing and one denomination will teach another thing, and they don't agree on what God expects us to do. And this can really confuse people. They... they do not understand, well, how could God say one thing to one people and another thing to another people? And the fact of the matter is that he doesn't. He says the same thing to all people, but not everyone follows his word. God has given you his book. He has given you the Bible. You need to read it and you need to understand it to be able to know whether the church you are attending is the church of the New Testament. Can we do this? Yes. Even back in the days of idolatry, did God did not expect his people just to accept his message without evidence. In Isaiah chapter 41, verses 21 to 24, Present your case, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, says the king of Jacob. Let them bring forth and show us what will happen. Let, him, let them show the former things, what they were, that we may consider them, and know the latter end of them, or declare to us things to come. Show the things that are come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods. Yes, do good or do, or do evil, that we may be dismayed and see it together. Indeed, you are nothing, and your work is nothing. He who chooses you is an abomination. These verses teach us that God wants his people to think. True Christianity only comes about when people learn from God. In Romans 10, verse 17, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. When Paul taught the people, he went to different cities, he went to different towns, and he taught. But he gave special praise to a group of people found in Berea. He said in Acts chapter 17, verse 11, these were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. They didn't take the preacher's word for it, and neither should you. They checked for themselves, and when they found what the word of God said, they obeyed it, and they accepted it. That's what you need to do. Of course, I am the preacher for a church that says that we are following God. I don't want you to accept that just because I said so. I want you to take your Bible, and I want you to compare what is being taught in these podcasts with what the Bible says. I want you to go to our website, www.eastendchurch.org, under the, under the Bible Resources tab, you will find a series of sermons. Listen to some of those sermons. Compare them to what the Bible says. I try my hardest to preach only from the Bible. I do not want to preach my own opinions. I do not want to preach my own think-sos because I am not God. I am not Jesus Christ. I am not the Savior. Jesus Christ is the only Savior. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. I am not the way to the Father. Jesus Christ is the way to the Father. Now, perhaps you don't know the Scriptures that well. Perhaps you need help finding something. Well, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. We will be glad to help you. Perhaps you want to study. 
uh, of the Bible. Well, we would be happy to do that as well. These studies are free and at your own convenience. You can, again, send an email to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Why do we do this? We do this because we want people to believe the Word of God. We want people to obey the Word of God so that they can be saved by the Word of God. I hope this is your intention as well. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we've spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Until you listen again, keep searching the Scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.